Let's talk about Michigan, because you started your career there as a wide receiver, which I thought was interesting. Jim Harbaugh called you, and I would love to know what that conversation was. Was he just like, hey, what do you think about switching to DB? Was there any part of you that was like, no, I want to be a receiver, I should transfer? No, nah, because um, I kind of was like ready for it. Because I was joking around with the coaches, the defensive coaches the year before about, you know, if they ever need me to play defense, let me know I'll play any time they ask me to play. So, like, part of me was ready to play defense. And it was more so, like, I was joking around about playing defense, but I was also being kind of serious because I don't think I was producing that receiver as much as I thought I could. So when he called me, I was like, Coach, look, if you need me to play anywhere on this team, I'll play. And that was me being a leader, me wow. being a team guy, putting the team first. And the following day, I was in the defensive room learning the defense, you know, the basics of it. So, yeah, I would say at no point in time was I hesitant and was I, you know, thinking about myself. I was just like, Coach, you want me to do this for the team? You see something in me that I might not see right now, but I trust and believe in you. So I was ready to do it right away. Um, Matthew Hamilton, my producer, just texted me that Mike McDonald, of course, the new Seahawks coach, was one of those defensive coaches at Michigan. Can we talk to him? Yeah, it was it was him actually. I was telling I was telling I was like, hey, Coach, I'm ready whenever. So you just call my number and I'll you know I'll come to the defensive side. What do you think they saw in you, or what made you so confident that you could switch? Because you were you were a really talented wide receiver, but then. You go on to have six picks last, last year. You had two pick sixes. The game ceiling pick in the national championship game, bright lights, big pressure, and then you become like the best nickel in the entire country. That decision changed your history and changed history. Yeah. I mean, what gave you the confidence that you could do that? Just like knowing uh, the fact that coach called me and could have got a transfer instead. He could have asked a, a guy who was already playing the corner to go play the nickel. But he asked me, he wanted me to do it. And just, I think part of why I was able to be so successful was my mindset and my willingness to put the team first and wanted to, you know, do everything I can to help the team. Because, you know, one thing that my old receiver coach, Coach Gaddis, I would always say is individual or with team success comes individual success. So mm. you put the team first and then you'll shine just as much as the team is shining. So I wanted to do everything I can in my power to make sure I was making sure the people around me are uplifted and I'm playing my hardest for the guys around me because in return, I know they'll do the same. Mikey like Nike. All right.